All right, guys, today we're working on this 2007 F-150. It's got a pretty bad tick when it runs. Um, I'll play a video, actually, of it. I don't want to start the truck now and keep it, keep it cold for me. I'll play a video that the customer sent me of the tick. But I already came out here, diagnosed the noise, and found or believed that it is the rocker roller arm. Let me show you what we have for parts. Here's the lash adjuster, and the reason I got this is because it just came with the kit. So if I can have access to them, I'll replace them while I'm in there. But I believe the noise is this, these roller rocker arms. Now here's a specialty tool I purchased so that we can do this job with the camshaft still in the truck, with the timing, not messing up, you know, taking off the timing chains. Basically procedure, got this mat because I'll probably be kneeling up here in the engine bay. I'm taking off this whole valve cover guys we're gonna work under this camshaft and that specialty tool is gonna help us to pull out those roller rocker arms without taking off the camshaft so i'll show you when we get in there but let's go ahead and take off this valve cover first thing okay you know all the wiring harness obviously any hoses and we'll get work on getting this valve cover off disconnect your negative battery terminal and let's get in here All right guys, so you're gonna wanna take out all the electrical stuff and just move all the connectors out the way best you can. Okay, I even got a bungee cord of this PCM main harness and just moved it to the side because it's very tight for this valve cover. This accumulator line's in the way, this transmission dipstick's in the way. So do the best you can to open this up. Of course, I took the coil packs out, lined them up in order. Don't get any dirt in the tips or anything. Okay, so we're gonna take this valve cover off. Um, there's eight millimeter bolts that go all the way around it. And then we'll see what it looks like under this valve cover. All right, guys, I've been struggling with this valve cover, getting it off for a while. Um, even when all the bolts are loose, um, it's a struggle to get it out. I'm not going to lie to you. It's a struggle. Now, one thing I had to do, had to, had to do was take off this coolant line. I tucked it up here. Not much came out. I just stuffed a paper towel in there. Not much came out. Don't be afraid to do it. But we finally got this valve cover out. First, we kind of had to tilt it and pull it up towards me to clear this accumulator line, okay? And finally rocked it out back and forth. So we're gonna clean up a little bit. Obviously some dirt got in the cylinder head this way. And now we're going to uh, work right here on these roller rocker arms. So that's uh, almost half the job done. We gotta uh, just do these rocker arms and then put it back together. Guys, I wanna show you this roller arm I just pulled out of this 5.4 liter Triton. Look at this. It was making a horrendous tick. Here's my specialty tool. If you can see the lobe on the cam, it's definitely worn, but not too much. We'll see if it makes any ruckus or if we need to replace the cam as well. But this tool allows you to replace the rocker arms without removing the cam or timing cover. There we go, guys. All right, guys, so you saw me replace all the rocker arms with that specialty tool. So I replaced all the roller rocker arms, all 12 here. Now I know that we found which one was bad, so it's not necessary to replace all 12, but where one goes out, you know, the rest will go out eventually. So I replaced this whole bank. Now it was a chore. Now do not let me tell you it was easy because it wasn't. It was a chore to get this valve cover in and out. I just finished putting it in. Now it helps to pull these back bolts out okay because the back bolts get hung out so pull them out the back three or four and rock it in so you kind of go into the angle like this and keep it upright and rock it back and forth move things out of the way as you get back there you'll feel it drop onto the back and then you can lay it flat with the mating surface and it drops so now we got it in tighten down all the bolts put the coils on on the electrical connectors plug everything back in evap hoses everything coolant hose and we'll be ready to fire this thing up. So that's kind of how the process went to replace these rocker roller arms. It's really cool that you don't have to take the camshaft off. That is brilliant. Um, you don't have to mess with the timing or anything. Now there is one thing, I was not able to get the lash adjusters out. Okay, you cannot get the lash adjusters out without removing the cam. You pull it up halfway and it hits the cam lobe, even if the lobe is at base circle, you know, on the valve. So that's one thing. Um, you can only do this with the roller arms, not the lash adjusters, lifters. Okay, so let's get this um, all wrapped up back together and uh, we'll fire it up and see, see that that noise is all gone. All right, guys, first start on this truck. Start it right up. You don't hear any more ticking. 
You want to make sure everything's plugged back in. You want to watch the gauges, make sure we got good oil pressure. And we do. Sounds beautiful. Ticking is gone. Keep letting it idle. Do its thing. But there you go, guys. You heard the before, you heard the after. It was that roller follower. Thanks for watching.